Good morning, guys. Have you ever seen me just fresh out the shower? I haven't even brushed my hair yet. Also, I haven't talked to anybody. Hi, Rai. She just came in here. Riley, say hello. Say hello. Hello. Are you going to join me in the bathroom? It's so small. You want to be in here, really? Mm. I haven't talked to anybody today because Jason has been out of town this whole weekend and so I've just been chilling with friends and then also I've been here home alone and so when I don't talk to anybody and you guys are the first people I talk to, I sound like this. My voice is so low and I just sound terrible. I guess I've talked to Riley actually a little bit but it's mostly like, Riley, you want to go outside? Or good morning, Riley. But she's really the only the only thing I've talked to today except for you guys now. So good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to just a chill vlog. I was going to film a morning routine video for you guys this weekend, but then I thought that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because Jason's out of town and he is a large part of my morning routine. I ended up asking you guys on Instagram what kind of videos you wanted to see here on my channel and I got tons of y'all wanting morning routine, night routine, and skincare routine, which I thought was very random because I don't think I've ever like filmed a morning or night routine. Maybe I have. I don't think I have. So I want to film a morning or night routine sometime this week. But in the meantime, I thought what I could do is film a vlog for you guys and just show you a morning skincare routine because this doesn't change whether Jason's in town or out of town. And I literally just got out of the shower. I haven't put any skincare on. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. I don't have my contacts in. So first thing I'm going to do is put my contacts in because I literally can't see. I'm looking at the screen right now on my camera and I'm like I can't see anything like it's so blurry and I've always wondered what it's like to be Jay Waz where he wakes up and he has perfect vision and I wake up and I'm like I can't see anything so I put my glasses on so first step of the day before I tackle this I'm gonna throw my contacts in so that I can see what I am doing I feel very disoriented before my contacts also I really hope my voice kind of warms up the more I talk because I do not sound good I sound very raspy Wow, that is so much better. I already feel like I'm more awake now. Okay, so the one thing that I do immediately after I get out of the shower is blow dry my bangs because if I don't, they just go all over the place and it's not cute for the rest of the day. So I have to like do that immediately once I get out of the shower. It's like before I even put clothes on, I'm like blow drying my bangs. So I have been loving the fit hair dryer. I think I unboxed this last week and I am obsessed with this hair dryer. It is honestly the perfect size. It's so lightweight and it's so easy because what I'm really using it for is my bangs and I use it every single day. So because it's smaller, I keep it on my counter and I've been really liking that. But I usually just let the rest of my hair air dry. So as it is air drying though, I like to put in some product, so I'll use a heat protectant and a kind of like blow dry balm, even though I am not going to blow dry it. I like to have the balm in because it helps with frizz and it adds some like kind of like moisture back into the hair. And then I also will do like a hair oil. So I've been using the Nexus Prep and Protect Leave-In Spray. I think I've talked about this before, but this is also kind of a detangler. And for some reason, this has always been the case, but my hair gets like really tangly. I really don't know why. So I always like put a heat protectant slash detangler in and kind of brush it out. I do my hair first before my skincare. So get a little bonus morning routine slash skincare slash hair care video. Jason gets back today though. I was planning on vlogging this weekend and I had all these plans of like vlogging at home and making cookies and doing like fun things. But then I ended up literally just hanging with friends all weekend. It was honestly the best weekend ever. Jay Waz hasn't gone out of town in a really, really long time because obviously there haven't been any tours or anything like that. So he's been home all year and it's like the first year of our marriage that he has been home. And this weekend, one of the bands that he plays with and writes with, Vacation Manor, they were doing a live recording this weekend for YouTube and they were just doing like 
one of their sets, but they were recording it and filming it for Spotify and YouTube. So he went to Virginia this weekend to play on that, which was really cool that he got to do that because I know that he has just been itching to kind of get back, not get back on the road as far as like touring, but just play music and do that again. So I'm really glad that he got to do that, but I'm very excited to have him back. I thought this weekend was gonna go by like really slow because typically when he would go out of town, I feel like the days would just drag on forever. But this weekend actually went by so fast. I thought I was gonna have all this time at home to just like chill and film and just like kind of recharge. But I honestly was like going all weekend with friends. I was with friends Friday, Saturday and Sunday, kind of like all day. So I really haven't had a moment to myself except for today, which is crazy because this is the day that he gets back. So it's like my last little minute to myself. So I thought I would, you know, do the things like wash my hair, which is just such an event. So I just put in a BB repair blow dry balm and then I'm going to finish the hair with some hair oil. This is the Kerastase Elixir All Time. This is a, a hair oil, but I really, really love this hair oil because it just makes my hair feel so smooth and soft. And I just feel like it adds that like hydration back into the hair that my hair just is really dry for some reason. It gets oily in the roots a little bit, but it's actually really dry because I color it, which you'll find if you lighten your hair or bleach it, it will kind of, you know, start to get unhealthy. So I like to make sure that I'm using product. My hair girl, Sarah, last time I went was like, you really should start using product the way that you do skincare. And obviously I've seen such a good result in my skin from using skincare. So I want to see the same result with my hair. My hair is pretty long and I want to keep it long. I want to keep it healthy. Um, oh, and the last thing that I actually really like using is some kind of salt spray or wave spray to give it some texture because the hair oil can kind of weigh your hair down. It's really good for like the ends, but it can weigh it down. So I like to use a kind of thickening spray. This is the Kristin S thickening spray and this just kind of gives it some volume as it's air drying and I feel like it adds some like texture back into the hair because the hair oil can kind of flatten it. But I feel like this gives it some grip again, which is actually very helpful for when I go and curl it eventually. But those are the products that I use in my hair and I know that it's kind of extensive, but I have seen really good results from using product in my hair more because my curls last longer and my hair honestly feels way less damaged than it used to when I would lighten it. And I'm actually gonna be going in, I think in a week or so, back to Sarah and going a little bit lighter, which I'm very excited about because I've just been wanting to go a little bit lighter for a while now. And now that it's spring and summer, I feel like it's time. So now I'm gonna show you guys my morning skincare. And this is something that I've been doing for a while now. These specific products you don't have to use, but I like using these types of products. So the first thing that I like to use, whether I wash my face in the morning or wash in the shower, I wash with a cleanser. And then I use, you guys are gonna laugh at me because this is the most jank thing ever. This is the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Benzoyl Peroxide Cleanser. This is the cleanser that like bleaches everything. So you have to be really careful with what towels you're using. But this cleanser is seriously one of the only things that actually helps get rid of my acne. I use the Curology Acne medication or acne serum. However, I really like to pair it with benzoyl peroxide because I feel like it really, really does kill the acne. It says that you technically aren't recommended to use it with benzoyl peroxide because it really dries out your skin. And so I really double down on moisture in my skin because I use both. So that's just what I do personally. Obviously, if it's drying out your skin to a point where it's unbearable, you probably shouldn't use both. However, I have pretty oily skin, so I don't mind it drying it out a little bit. So the first thing that I like to use is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. You don't have to use this specific one because this one is actually kind of pricey, but I do like having a toner of some sort, preferably a hydrating one. I use one for acne at night, but I like to have, again, the hydration during the day, so I use a little cotton pad. After I wash my face, I apply this toner and I feel like mostly I just like using a toner because it's getting off all the extra 
dirt and debris that you may not have gotten off with your cleanser because sometimes I feel like you can wash your face and there's still some stuff on there so I really like to use a toner to kind of complete the cleansing especially at night if you guys aren't using a toner at night toners are actually what changed my life and the texture of my skin at night because I would wash my face and also double cleansing actually helped I used to wash my face only once with like a gel cleanser and then I would find that kind of midday the next morning I would have these tiny little bumps on my skin that weren't acne but they were really really weird and like it was a very bumpy bumpy texture on my cheeks and it drove me crazy and so I did a little bit of research and they suggested double cleansing and using some sort of toner after you cleanse and that has drastically improved the texture of my skin because you want to double cleanse so I always do some sort of oil cleanser at night, which I guess I can go through my nighttime routine, but I feel like that double cleanser is really getting your skin clean and then you're finishing it off with a toner where you're using a wipe to really get the rest of the stuff off. And I always find that when I use a toner, especially at night, there's always makeup that comes off on the cotton pad. In the morning, not so much because I had already cleansed the night before, but I do like using the toner in the morning because I feel like it's just getting the rest of it off. So. For the morning, I have been doing the same thing, just different variations. So I always use a vitamin C serum and some sort of moisturizer. The morning routine is always a little bit more condensed than nighttime routine, but I typically will use a lightweight moisturizer, but like I said, because I am using the benzoyl peroxide and the Curology formula, I have had a little bit drier skin, but I've had no acne. So it's honestly, to me, worth the trade-off of using a heavier cream during the day. So this is the Glossier Rich Moisturizer, and I am truly almost out of this. I've been using this up, and what I do is I pair it with the C Firma Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. This is a super, super good vitamin C serum. And it has a little bit of an oily texture to it, which I personally really like because it makes my skin just super hydrated. So I'm, I'm almost out of this cream, so I need to change up my cream and get a new one. But basically I will, well, this is kind of the end. This is the end of the cream. This isn't empty now. I will take my cream and put it in my hand like this, and then I will pump like half a pump of this glow serum, and I will mix them together in my hands, and I will apply it to my skin like this, and the neck, of course, and you can do the chest if you want, but under the bangs. Now, if you have really oily skin, but you don't have acne, or you just have not dry skin, Glossier has a couple other moisturizers that have very similar feels to them, but they're different formulas. So this is their rich one. So this is the super thick cream, which I am really liking right now, again, because my skin is really dry. But they have a, I think it's called balanced one, where it is a gel formula. So it's gonna be super lightweight, oil-free. And then they have their original priming moisturizer, which is just a lighter version of this. But I've been using, well, I guess I can throw this away now, but I've been using that and really, really liking that. And then I've been, like I said, using the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. Glossier has their own Vitamin C Serum as well. It's a little bit more affordable than the Drunk Elephant one, but the Drunk Elephant one is really, really good and I really love it. And then I always top off my skincare with SPF. This is the Super Goop Unseen SPF 40. You've seen me use this a lot, actually. Just kidding. I need to apply eye cream. I almost forgot. This is the Glossier Bubble Wrap Eye Cream, and I'm actually almost out of this, but I just reordered one, so we're good. And I will apply this. I really love this formula. It's an emulsion. If you don't have an eye cream, I really, really recommend this one because it's going to be good for sensitive skin, but it's super hydrating, and you can also use it on your lips, which is really nice. So I just kind of, I know you're supposed to apply it with like your ring finger, but I don't know. I've just always used my middle finger. Okay. So eye cream is on, vitamin C serum and moisturizer is on. Now I'm going to do my SPF and this is low key the most important. So this is what the sunscreen looks like. And this one, it's kind of like a primer. Like it has a primer feel to it. It feels like it's really kind of blurring the pores. It's a clear cast, so you're not gonna see it, which is nice. And it just is really, really smooth. And then I will kind of bring the sunscreen down the neck as well. So we're trying to protect all of this. And that is pretty much my skincare routine. I will apply a lip balm, but I want to brush my teeth first. This 
skincare routine has worked wonders for me. Like I said, you don't have to use these exact products, but I do think that these types of products would be really, really helpful for your skin, especially sunscreen. Just start applying sunscreen and you'll be fine. But I mean, I've seen just incredible, incredible results in my skin since I've like narrowed down my skincare. And oh, I just feel like when you go and you look back at my like 2018 videos, you can see such a difference in my skin. That is my morning skincare routine. I'm gonna brush my teeth now before I apply my lip balm. I wanted to do a first impressions of something that I unboxed in my most recent unboxing video. Okay, these are the By Humankind toothpaste tablets. And Jason was like, wait, you chew that? He was very confused by it. But they're honestly really, they're really cool. So I haven't actually tried one yet. So we're gonna try these together, but basically, these are little tablets that you chew up. And I did look these up. They're $24 for a refill, which is really low-key kind of expensive for toothpaste tablets. But it's supposed to be, you know, environmentally friendly, so you just, you can't win them all. So we have the toothpaste tablets, and then we also have the mouthwash tablets, which I wanna try as well. And then we've got the floss, which I feel like it's just floss, so like how are you really gonna try floss? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna take one of these minty tablets here like that between my teeth I'm gonna start chewing it's very chalky very dry my first impressions is that these are cool I'm not sure that I love the feeling of like sticking it in my mouth and starting to chew because it feels very dry and chalky. And then obviously you wet your toothbrush and you start brushing and it is minty and it is refreshing, but it doesn't have that like cooling sensation that like a Crest toothpaste has. It's very, very different and something that I feel like I will have to get used to. I can't say that I like love these. I think they're a really cool idea. I personally still like toothpaste. I wish there was like a way to do like a reusable thing but like in paste form because I don't love when I chew on the tablet it feels like it's stuck in my teeth and like I still feel like it's there even though I know it's not like I brush it all out I still feel like it still feels kind of chalky to me so I think I rate those like a 7 out of 10 as far as like how much I like it compared to just normal toothpaste but now I'm gonna try the mouthwash and you pop this little top off here it becomes a cup and you take the tablet and you put it in the cup and you do like a swoosh full of water and it starts dissolving i don't think you guys can see basically it's dissolving and once it's dissolved we'll do a little mouthwash test maybe i should put more water in there i should have dissolved this while i was brushing my teeth i think it's almost done though we are fully dissolved i don't know if you guys can see i don't want to tip it over but here we go Okay, it's really not like that minty. It doesn't even really have a flavor. I do have to rinse the cup out. So you have to dry it before you stick it back on the glass jar because water is what activates the tablets. So there is like that extra step of rinsing the cup, drying the cup, putting the cup back together, doing this. I think I actually like this, but again, it doesn't have like a cool, like I don't like spit that out and I'm like, ooh, my, my breath is so fresh. It doesn't feel that powerful of like a mouthwash and this doesn't feel like that powerful of a toothpaste which i don't know if your toothpaste and mouthwash is supposed to feel powerful but i just know that like when i brush my teeth with my crest i'm like minty fresh breath it feels really good it feels very refreshing these just feel like good but nothing that i'm like oh my gosh i feel like my breath smells so good like i really don't feel like the mouthwash did much the toothpaste, I feel like did a little bit more as far as like mintiness goes. Again, I feel like I would rate this like a six out of 10. I do really like the containers though. And I feel like a typical thing of mouthwash because it's just all liquid would be like pretty big. It'd be like this big, but I do like that this is really compact. So this feels really helpful as far as like counter space or space when traveling or something like that. So I can see how this would actually be really helpful. If you really love mouthwash, I actually don't use mouthwash. I don't know if that's really, really common, but I don't. So that is that. And I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. And then this is the floss here. And this is just like normal floss. Again, the floss refills are $24. The mouthwash refills $24. The deodorant refills $24. The toothpaste refills $24 
which I'm kind of just like, that's kind of expensive, you know? And the floss, I feel like you can get so much floss for like a dollar. The floss is floss. The floss is fine. So that's my thought on those. I wish I really, really, really loved them enough to like want to commit and get the refills and like commit to that system. However, I think I still just really like my toothpaste the way that it is. So that is that. I am going to do a little bit of makeup. I want to just put a little bit of something on. And then we've actually got some new skincare from Drunk Elephant that came in that I want to unbox with y'all because this is kind of like a skincare video and I do really like their products so I thought it'd be fun to kind of unbox with them. I'm gonna put a little lip balm on. This is the Tarte Quench Thirst Balms. These are really, really minty and I really like these. Okay, really quick. I just applied the Merit kind of like foundation concealer stick just to my face. It's super natural looking. You can honestly barely even tell where I applied it just to kind of even out the skin tone in the areas that I needed. And now I'm gonna use the Merit blush, which is super, super cute. And I'm gonna just apply this on my cheeks and then a little bit on my nose here and then blend it out. I've been loving these Ilia brushes so much. Blend it out with the Ilia brush. Looks super natural. Highlight is gonna be the Milk Makeup Highlight in Lit. I love this cream highlight. It's one of my favorite cream highlights. As many as I've tried, I still go back to this one because it's just so stinking good. And you get a ton of product in this tube, which is amazing. I also think the color is just really, really pretty. Like I just love the shade, the formula, the payout, the amount of product that you get and inner corners. I feel like that just adds a nice glow. And then for eyes, lately I've been using this Dior highlight palette, which is a little bit too dark for my actual highlight. It's the shade 004, but I've been using this as an all over lid eyeshadow when I want it to look like more natural. Like I just have like a single shade on versus like building up like a full glam smoky eye look. I've been really loving using this single shade all over the lid. It's really, really pretty as an eyeshadow. So, and I'll show you guys my makeup in natural light as well but can't wait hopefully the bathroom that we get in the house that we buy will have a window my dream would be to have a window in our bathroom it would be so nice <laughs> okay now i'm gonna apply mascara glossier lash lick okay last thing is lip product this is the ysl beauty rouge volute de shine and i'm just kind of putting this on pretty sheer because i want it to look just like a natural tint to the lips but this is basically my kind of like summer super quick and easy makeup look and i'll show you guys a natural light because it looks very very natural okay so you can kind of hear the dryer going in the back but this is the makeup look that i've been kind of going with non-stop i love the all over lid color with that highlight palette and then i really love this milk makeup highlight I've been using a lot of cream products, so cream blush, cream highlight, and then I really have been loving kind of just a balmy lip color, something that's super natural looking that just looks like a tint. But this is my makeup look for the day. I don't think Riley said hello yet. Have you said hello yet? Also, I'm changing the sheets right now, so that's why we've got that stacked up there. Right, say hi. Say hello. Oh wait, you did say hi right at the beginning. You came in the bathroom. You are so avoidant with the eye contact. <gasps> But I love your girlfriend. Are you ready for dad to come home? You ready for dad to come home? Yeah. Me too. She loves her dad. Okay, I wanted to unbox this drunk elephant stuff. I also got a package from Missouri that I'm gonna unbox in a separate video because I wanted to keep this video about skincare since that's kind of the theme. But I got some stuff in from Drunk Elephant and they are personally one of my favorite skincare brands and I've been really loving their products and trying out all their stuff. So. This is some stuff that they sent over. Also, their packaging is so fun. Again, please excuse the fact that I am switching over the bedding right now. Okay, first thing is the polypeptide cream. This is one of my favorite creams just in general from any brand that I've tried. This cream is so hydrating. It is so good for reducing fine lines and wrinkles. It is also a firming cream, so your skin just feels so like plump and hydrated after using it, so I really Love this cream, very excited for that. The next thing, this is the F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial. This is one of their face masks, and this one is the hydrating one. 
and it's so good. Also, I can show you guys what the cream looks like as well if you haven't seen it before. This is the polypeptide cream, and it has this type of dispenser so that you can pump the cream onto the top here, and you can squirt on your serums, oils, and stuff like that onto this applicator and mix them at the top here. Also, I just I had this in here from earlier because I was trying to take a thumbnail photo by the natural light. The next thing is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is such a good facial oil. Even if you have oily skin, if you're using any sort of cleansers that are stripping the skin of your oils or you're using a benzoyl peroxide or any type of like drying out product, you're gonna want to replenish those natural oils that your face creates because if you don't, your face is gonna start panicking and going into overproduction of oil. So the drier you are, the more your face is gonna try to produce those oils that are being stripped from the skin. So it's really good to replenish it with oils, whether that's in the moisturizer that you're using or using an actual facial oil. You can go really light on your facial oil too. You don't have to put a lot on, but just adding a drop into your moisturizer could actually really change the texture and feel of your skin so I really really love this oil it's a super nice oil again really hydrating it's really gentle on the skin there are also no natural or synthetic fragrances so it's fragrance free really good and then this is the baby facial this is the AHA and BHA face mask and this is a resurfacing face mask so you've got your hydrating face mask and then your resurfacing face mask so this is going to be for kind of exfoliating the skin and it also is going to help with the texture and it's going to give you more like radiant skin because what it's doing is kind of removing that like layer of like dead skin so this one is super great for kind of revamping your skin whereas this one is for giving hydration back into the skin the next thing okay this is a retinol cream and retinol is really good for skin cell turnover so it's gonna really like reset the skin you're only gonna want to use this you kind of want to work it into your skin carotene because retinol is actually like a really powerful product and it can dry out your skin a lot so you're gonna want to take the should have just kept this out of the box you're gonna take your moisturizer pump the moisturizer out and you're gonna want to do like half a pump of this and use it a couple times a week and work it into your skin carotene versus using it every night or it can really dry out your skin but this is a 1% retinol and this is going to help with fine lines wrinkles sun damage dark spots all that stuff because what it's doing like i said is it's turning over those skin cells the next thing is my c serum so this guy i got another one and this has been my favorite serum this one is a really powerful vitamin c serum this one is going to reveal brighter firmer and more even looking complexion which i've talked about before my skin doesn't have acne anymore but what i do have is dark spots from my acne scarring so i like to have a vitamin c serum for the daytime and then the last thing is something that i've actually never ever ever tried before so these are the hair and body littles from drunk elephant I think this is like a kind of trial of all of their hair and body products, which I've never tried. When I saw they launched hair and body products, I was very intrigued. Their packaging is so fun. I love all their little mini sets because it gives you a good chance to try out the products without committing to buying a full size. It has a comb, which honestly, thrilled about. And then we've got, this is a scalp scrub. I've never tried a scalp scrub before, so that's exciting. This is, these are so cute. The actual sizes are much bigger than this. Like I said, this, these are the trials. This is a glossing shampoo. Then we've got a conditioner. This is a tangle spray. Honestly, what I needed, a detangler. This is a body cleanser, cream body cleanser. And then body lotion. And then the last thing in here is the deodorant. Ooh. I didn't know they had deodorant. So that is really cool. I will link this set down below and all the other stuff. The other stuff I've actually used before. I've never tried their hair care or body care yet, but I'm really excited because I love their skincare. So I have a feeling 
I'm gonna like their body and hair care. But I'm basically just gonna end this video here because what I really wanted to show you guys was my morning skincare routine and I don't really wanna drag this out too much longer because Jaywaz always says my videos are so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed kind of getting ready with me and seeing my morning skincare routine, unboxing some new skincare with me. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, if you have any questions about a morning skincare routine. I like to keep mine fairly simple with like eye cream, moisturizer, vitamin C serum, sunscreen. But I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here and you want to stick around. And I will see you guys in my next one very soon. Bye y'all.